there's nothing like going to a nostalgic drive-in movie theater. So what's better than that than going in a Tesla? We're at the Big Sky Drive-In Theater in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. And this is going to be Tesla Owner's Guide to the Drive-In Movie Theater. Now there's a few different ways you can do it. You can either pull straight in, the traditional style, uh, especially if there's the, the ramps that lift the front end of the car up, and you can just watch it the old-fashioned way. Now, the nice thing about doing it this way is it will keep your stereo and all your accessories powered, and also allow you to keep your ventilation system going on a nice hot day like today. And then of course you could also back in. Now be courteous if you back in, since you, your trunk might be open, take the last row so that way you don't block anybody else around you. Now one of the benefits of backing in, especially if you have the Model S, or the Mo well, I guess you only have a Model S or a Model X at this time, is you have a lot of space to sit. Especially if there's only going to be one, two, or if you just have a couple small children, you're going to bring some lawn chairs. And you could just lay down in the back, or you can pull out your trunk well cover if you do not have the jump seat. Pop right in, kick on back, grab a couple blankets, pillows, you're all set to go. Fold your seats down, perfect. If you do have the jump seats, it just gets that much better as you can pull out your rear jump seats and you can seat your two children there, pull out a few lawn chairs and uh, sit right next to them. My leg! Well, for this evening, due to how busy the uh, drive-in theater is going to be, uh, we're going to be doing the forward pull-in instead of the rear with the trunk hatch open. Uh, mostly because uh, it is really hot, really humid, and I would like to enjoy some climate control, even though we're going to be having the windows down and enjoying still some of the nice outdoorness at the same time. Now, while you can run your climate control pretty much indefinitely in a Model S, uh, there is one thing I would like to say is your air conditioner, while heat won't make really any noise, your air conditioner can. So. What you want to do, flip your air conditioner on, put it in the lowest temperature setting, but have your fan speed at also its lowest setting. Then, put your cabin air to recirculate. And only if you're having trouble with foggy windows, then switch to outside air in. If your windows are going to be up, if your windows are going to be down, then keep it at outside air in. Now the reason for keeping your airflow at its lower setting, then the scroll compressor for the air conditioning system will operate at its lowest speed, so that way it does not bother other patrons while the movie is in progress. If it's raining out and everybody's got their windows up, by all means do whatever you want. Uh, if it's colder out and you want your heat on, like I said, heat's no problem. Heat does not make too much noise. Just a little bit of the fan noise from where it draws in the air from outside. But the air conditioner, like I said, with the scroll, fan, uh, the scroll compressor and the cooling fans can get a little noisy if you have it up too high. Plus, how are you going to enjoy the movie? Now, another thing is, even while you're sitting in the car, you might have a problem with the car going into standby mode or uh, sleep mode, power down. And you can maybe start hearing the compressor uh, start up there, and that's because I had it set at 11, or excuse me, 8. So we got to turn it back down to 1. Now, the problem you're going to have, oh, say hi. Uh, the problem you're going to have is the car will hey eventually go into sleep mode. Now, to mitigate that problem, place your foot on the brake, put the car into drive. Go into your e-brake and power off menu, and then press and hold the parking brake. 
And once it's fully applied, the car will tell you. You can then release your foot from the brake. Now the car will remain in neutral with the e-brake applied. In this way, it's kind of like camper mode, which if you have Remote S app for your phone, you can keep camper mode on with your phone. With it in this mode though, everything will continue to stay powered up indefinitely. Just keep in mind, as you can tell with the beeps, if you do open a door, let me put it back in the park. If you do open one of the doors, the car will start beeping and alert you that there's a door open. Like I said, the car will still think it's in a movable, uh, a, a movable condition, with the, even with the e-brake on, because it'll still be in neutral. This is safety, just to remind you so you don't get out of the vehicle and walk off with the car still powered up. So that's pretty much it. Um, make sure you have uh, your radio set to the correct frequency and uh, thankfully we still have FM radios. So for tonight we're going to be at 100.7 and uh, especially if you have the ultra high fidelity sound system that means your auto audio experience at your drive-in movie is going to beat the living crap out of anything you're going to experience in any theater on this planet. So kick back, grab yourself a nice beverage. Mm, lemonade. And enjoy the film. A couple additional things that I recommend. Make sure you have your DRLs, fog lights, and headlights to off. Otherwise, they may automatically turn back on by themselves if you accidentally touch certain controls in the vehicle. Also go into your settings and turn off headlights after exit. If the car detects that your rear end leaves the driver's seat, even for a second, it will think you're exiting the vehicle and reactivate your headlights. And, of course, turn your display to night mode and brightness to zero. And now you will have the most awesome theater experience ever with your Model S sound system. And, of course, this is one of the rare cases where the ultra high fidelity sound system is worth its weight in gold. Smile cheese! <laughs>